Does that count as a confession? I think it does. But it's not, right? Because, like, she said it in Russian. And he understood that. But she doesn't know that he understands that. And he's not going to confirm it either. So we're at the stalemate of, like, yeah, I really like you, really like me. But we can't just commit just yet. There's a bit more, uh... I guess more conspiracy theories on who the girl in the playground is. And all the evidence right now suggests that it is Masha. But I like to, instead of just going with the popular opinion, I like to just go through schizo theories. And a guy named Otaku Spirit, another anime YouTuber, he came up with the theory that somehow, and light novel players don't fucking spoil, just shut the fuck up and enjoy the content. Some people are saying, Otaku Spirit said, the girl that's in the flashback on the top of the playground seems to have Alia's eye color, but with different hair, because Masashika is referring back to those memories where Alia and Masha are combined into one because the memories, childhood memories were hazy. Honestly, I think that even if you think it's a stupid theory, I think that we're actually thinking outside the box, right? Instead of just becoming like fixed on tunnel visioning on it can only be this one girl or the other like thinking outside the box is a very good thing to do now whether or not if this is true or not who really fucking knows it's still probably my shit though right but i really love that theory when i heard that video but hey let's begin today's reaction <sighs> shut up and take my hand <laughs> a little bit that's cool though yeah what do you think that means? <laughs> Any other fucking rom-com main character would be so dense and think of ways to be like, nah, she doesn't actually mean that. But like, will Masashika realize? It's always amazing to see how authors of rom-coms make these main characters like do mental gymnastics in their head to like disprove that a girl just coming out and say I fucking love you <laughs> is something that they didn't actually mean. Truly, it is like a piece of work to see how they can do these mental gymnastics. She is cringing though, she is cringing. Lore, Lore. Lore. Bitch! Why don't you get a goddamn job? I'm busting my ass. I'm working 25 hours a day so we can pay the goddamn bills. I don't see your ass doing anything. I bet you cheating on me while I'm busy at work. Pick up a goddamn job. I see. So he has like a lot of doubt about relationship and love because of the backstory of how everything went bad, huh? Right, they got separated, right? Little sis, Yuki moment incoming? Hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> what kind of moment are we about to have? Because she already had the, the, the bath towel around her hair. <laughs> we walking in on the shower. Now, of any character in any cliche like this, the girl would go, Yeah, hentai slap, right? That would always happen. But, but, <laughs> Yuki's different. We know Yuki's different. Let's see how this plays out. What's up, Oni-chan? What's going on? What's up, little sis? <laughs> No, I won't get baited. I will not. She's too culture for this. She knows the meta. She is literally voice acting the cringe lines that we would see in any other anime. Do not be fooled. Yeah! She actually literally was in the bathroom the entire time. And she's like, when is this motherfucker coming home? And so she stood in the bathroom just waiting for him to get home for this one moment. The dedication is unreal. Because Wincest? Oh. 
長い着替え装具イベントを消化していなかったこ A cutscene? What is this? A fucking bingo check mark that you're trying to fucking tick off? Is this true, guys? I don't have a sister. I only have a little brother. I don't think I've ever walked in on his ass. I don't want to see that shit. Have I ever walked in on my mom? I don't think so. Is that a common occurrence? I don't know. It's not a relatable memory for me. <laughs> She's looking at us. Yeah, Yuki is the best girl of this show. She's even doing fan service, breaking the fourth wall right now. Literally looking at us, giving the fan service, bro. Yuki is. Yuki's raw energy is just too volatile. No one can control this. Cameraman! <laughs> ジョーダンは置いといて、これは騙し打ちみたいに。お、うんちゃん、黙って言わせとけば、少しとこと弱くってんだぞ。うん。ゆき。メイビー。帰ってない。知らリズムこそが正義。ああ、ああ。あれ
別にお前が嫌いになったとかじゃないから。Okay, okay. Jesus, the single. Yes, as a sister. Love you so much, my family member. <laughs> so, Alia, he can't say I love you back to Alia. But he can say I love, I guess. Confirm the love to Yuki. So, technically. That confession, quote unquote confession last episode, has now been trumped by this one, but this one doesn't go in. And that's the interesting thing with Yuki. Because, like, she is not able to compete, but she is competing, right? I don't think we're gonna go the Winces route, but at the same time, she gets away with so much because of the sibling buff. <laughs> Alright, bye bye. <laughs> Jesus! What? I don't know She's fine with getting cucked. She wants to get cucked. She wants to be the concubine. That's crazy. That is crazy. She, she just understands everything. She understands all the tropes, all the fucking meta, bro. <laughs> Like dad? Bye bye. Yeah, Yuki is just too powerful. She genuinely might be my favorite girl in the show. She just has so much more. Well, it's not fair, you know? Because she gets away with this because she's already that close with Masatsuka and is a sibling. Everything she's saying obviously sounds like it's ridiculous, but she can do it while having this armor of winds test up. You know what I mean? She ha she can do things that no other girls can simply because she's a sibling. It's insane. Oh no! Oh no, Yuki! Yuki! Nah, oh, I'd win. Who's gonna help her? Yeah, that should be on the top of the bed. Yeah. Oh, no, no way, no way. Way. What? Yes! What? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was over. I thought the Yuki fan service was over. It's not fucking over. What are you doing down there? <laughs> If we ignore this part, is this just a mask that she's putting on to hide her hurt? Like, what do you actually think is going on beyond this, right? Yeah, she can put up a nice laughing face and act like it's not bothering me, but I truly wonder, like, within, deep inside, how she feels. <laughs> Step bro, I'm stuck! I'm stuck, big bro! I'm stuck, big bro. She can't, she, she can't pull out, bro. Bro, I'm stuck. Or we can kill her. We can actually just kill her. This reeks of boy, it's gonna what? Man. Half an episode just dedicated towards Yuki, and god fucking damn, she just delivers. Anytime she's in, it's just so impactful, huh? Like, Yuki is just built different. The power levels are just unfair. But again, she gets away with these things because of the position she's in. Alia can't do this. After the setup's done, maybe something different will happen. We'll see. Where's that boy at? It's not him. <laughs> Because he confessed to Oh, Oh, I didn't even know you were there. Oh, I. <laughs> Why is he sparkling? Why is he sparkling so much? Because he spent the morning with Yuki. It sounds. <laughs> when people make love in the morning, man. When people make love in the morning, they say that they you know, look a little bit more refreshed. Yoshuka. Sparkle, sparkle. So this is Alia's beer goggles right now, right? Beer goggles as in her perspective and he looks so hot. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
Alia POV. See, she can only see him like this now because she just gushed over him. Because Yuki? Because Yuki got him up? Is he? He just had a good morning with Yuki, right? And he's all energized and shit. I don't know if this is for Alia. Oh. Shut up and take my hand. Oh, oh, the 40th sprint? God damn! Spike! Woo! 40 inch vert. 40 inch vert, bro. My god. Sign this girl up for the league. Captain Tsubasa. Would have never get you guys aren't gonna get this. I love this anime, Captain Tsubasa. This is what I watch at night by myself, because you motherfuckers aren't gonna watch reactions on that. This reference here, getting a Captain Tsubasa reference, such a niche anime in Roche today, okay. <sighs> Mm, injury oh, is. I'm hurt. I need a head However, your office. Look how worried she is now. Checking in for the fever? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 this is bullshit, bro. Like, the checking temperature of heads, like, no fucking- You gotta have an actual thermometer. You need actual fucking science. You just- You can't just feel the heat like that. Another thing that's actually kind of- That's kind of convenient, though, when you're trying to raise up a girl or a guy like this, is forehead to forehead. Exactly, right? Forehead to forehead, where you bring him in. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> True. Citation needed. So, are we gonna get the citation right now? The nape! Bro, is that bad? Pick the pits? Wait, wait. Oh, Jesus! I thought this was her neck! I, I thought this was her neck for a second! Story time. Story time back in high school. You would think... You would think that getting a sneak peek at a pit for a girl that you like is hot, right? You've seen this right now. In, in an anime, or a girl is freshly shaved and everything good, yes. But my innocent 14-year-old ass. During one day near summer, the girl I kinda liked, she was not wearing a t-shirt, she was wearing like a spaghetti t-shirt, like a... I saw the peak! I saw that peak and I was like, Dear Lord! She got more hair than me! What the fuck? <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with body hair. There's nothing wrong with body hair. But I'm just saying that the fantasy of this playing out, it may not really work out in that exact way, right? This is <laughs> anime, but in reality, the expectations, that's a bit different. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, slurp oh, that water. Oh, 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 He got too heated up. Got to cool down for a second. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, you should put the water fucking down there too. Both heads needs to cool down. Hey, hey! You big sis, that she, she, Masha did say she's gonna compete. A man dripping with charisma from head to toe. Kunka, kunka, I can smell the testosterone. Oh, he has stayed at no day. Go sin painak. Dostano? Sorani, nani karno? Really? Nani o tosen no koto o itteru no yo. No, this gotta be an ulterior motive. I need one. Yeah, nice. 
Is this E? Is this E now? I don't know. That's crazy. And like, it'll work. Because like, he's moderately hot. No, he's not moderately hot. He's super hot. And she likes him. Who the fuck can say, oh wow, I feel, I feel like from a perspective of a dog, it makes sense now. Like, how are you gonna raise a girl by saying this shit? Are you an Akita? The role play here is crazy. She played along with it. Are you an Akita? She said, oh my god, Rowdy Mutt! He gonna start barking at this rate! Yo, the competition though. Okay. Bye. Masha is so interesting in the way that she approaches Masatsuka to like... Riz. Cause like, you would think that she's just a sweet, wholesome, innocent girl. By the way that she, you know, presents herself, by the soft-spoken voice, right? You would think that. But, there's, there's a semen demon underneath, bro. The way that she was so compatible with the dog talk immediately, then pivoting into, are you an Akita? Into, oh, I like naughty dogs. Like, she is hiding behind this cute little ooh 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 face, but oh my god, she's an actual demon. She mad. Ah, uh, jealous. Oh, but the injury, right? I forgot about that. Oh, about that. Oh, about that. Oh, about that. なんか今日は妙に優しくありませんかね。うん。元気がないみたいだから。どうしたのかなって少し心配しただけよ。やっぱり昨日のちょっと引きずってたのか。いや、letting mm -hmm. Yuki down, but like basically he was super energized in the morning, right? Because of Yuki. やっぱり昨日のちょっと引きずってたのか。Well, at least it looked energizing to Aria's perspective. The girl or the guy? I'm hungry. So like, basically, I skipped breakfast is implying that yes, he was sluggish this morning as Alia would have expected on a regular day. Now she realizes, what the fuck am I doing? This is all wrong. Oh my god, I'm embarrassed. <gasps> ずいぶん真面目に授業を受けたかったのね。メビ。あいや、それは普通によく寝たからだな。おお。うん。たと。こっちはなかなか寝付けなかったっていうのに。ね、she まあ、聞けありゃよ。手話を教えられている。何いや、手話を教えられている。いや。右の頬を打たれたら、左の頬を指す。無駄野郎を見る目かい。おふざけぐうたら男を見る目よ。最低。やっぱりあんなふざけた
アーリャさん一緒に生徒会室に行きませんか、mm, yes, no. <笑> That's, that's okay, that's a yes. やりすぎたかなおっ<笑><笑>この前の野球部とサッカー部失礼しますプレスプレスオーケー So I'm wrong. All right, all right. So this must be the vice press, right? So press was going for vice press. Vice press was gone for what? Some sort of kendo competition. I thought that the maid in the opening was the vice press simply because they were conveniently gone the entire time. But okay, this is different character. This is the right room. It's the, it's the vice press. She don't fuck around. とサッカー部の連中が戻ってきたのかなって We got a tomboy girl えっとパイが仲裁に行ったっていうのにあいつらそれに耳を貸さずに見苦しい言い争いくしめ You fucked them up <笑>注意はねなるほど You fucked them up, I see, I see 大丈夫私の拳で人は死ぬけど死ないで人が死ぬことはないから Really? That's not a good thing Your fist won't break, but your sword will before you kill somebody? Dan Shin Yane san toka y o b a r e t e r no Aniki! Not Aniki, be different. <laughs> Wonder how, like, again, he's the one that chased her and became the prez, right? And he's a Giga Chad. So does she get all dere dere, you know, uwu uwu, when it's just between those two? But then to everyone else, she's just like a hardcore, not a delinquent, but, you know, aggressive? <laughs> まあそう硬くなるなクゼ。ちさきは暴力を振るってはいないわけだ。どうや ?Just blackmail them? まあまあ。It's cute though, those two. Oh, Jesus, ow, ow, ow. ちさき、外れる。Now this is domestic abuse. ごめんなさい。ちょっと遅れちゃったか。I think he likes getting hit. I, I feel like he wants to be dominated by her. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Anyways, Ara Ara from Masha. I mean, I'm not sure. 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 Got jacked so that she can beat him up more without realizing she's hurting him. What a giga chat, bro. This press just continues to impress. Oh my god! 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 ワールドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイドワイド
Whenever, like every one of her lines is a fucking zinger. Every time, it's just a straight dagger, bro. The fact that she's breaking the fourth wall to give us the fan service. The fact that she calls these cutscenes that she was waiting for Masatsuka to show up and then be like, yeah, Onichi at hentai, right? These cliches. She just knows the meta. She is with the culture. She even got stuck. Big bro, I'm stuck. Help me out. Their whole relationship is so adorable. Now, obviously, they're blood related, so she can't win, but she's still trying the competition. It's nice. Alia? Yo, Alia Loki, just a bitch. <laughs> well, it's, it's like she's a tsundere, you know? So that aspect of her is always gonna show up, and she's gonna be like the thorny princess. While Yuki is just going to be a lot more playful. Masha though. Masha coming through with more fan service. And, you know, she said that she'd be giving Ali a gentle push. Trying to compete if you're not going to go for him. I'm going to go for him instead. I don't think she's serious. But nice to see Masha as well. And now we got to see the vice pres. Right? Anewe. Anesan. Big sis. She's a tomboy kendo champion, presumably. Prez got... Jacked just so he could take her physical abuse, bro. These two are actually amazing. These two ship, I love him, bro. But we still haven't seen the maid yet, and there's still this MP chair, so I'm still holding out on the maid of whenever she's gonna show up, and that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.